Hey friends, Christy at Collidium here. Thank you for joining us in our Collidium at Home series. I hope everyone is safe and well. If you joined me before in a previous video, we took a tour of a creek that runs along the property here at home. Now, it's a beautiful creek and we enjoy walking along, listening to the birds, enjoying the nature, listening to the sound of the, the water flowing. It's a beautiful, beautiful creek. And it got me to thinking, actually, I wonder what the health of this creek is. So today, I decided to take a quick look, maybe share some notes on how you actually check the health of a creek. And you know what? I wanted to bring you along with me. So let's go take a look. What kinds of monitoring data are used to make water quality assessments? Across the globe, and more specifically closer to home, state water quality assessments are normally based on five broad types of monitoring data. Chemical, physical, habitat, toxicity, and biological integrity. Biological integrity data is the form of data collection we will use today. In this form of assessment, we will collect and note specific macroinvertebrate members of the aquatic biological community. To collect our data today, here's the equipment I used. I made a homemade kick net using PVC pipe and an old window screen. I also used a white plastic dish pan to hold our macroinvertebrates that we collect. Now let's head to the stream. So we found several macroinvertebrates in our sample, but just what is a macroinvertebrate? A macroinvertebrate is a living organism that has no backbone and that can be seen with the naked eye, such as these aquatic insects we found today in the stream.
Okay, so why are macroinvertebrates so important? Well, since macros live in our rivers, streams, and creeks, they need to have healthy, pollution-free water to survive. In addition, if the water is polluted or not healthy, these guys are the first to be affected. And since we all ultimately rely on safe, healthy water to survive, if you visit the stream or river and you don't see any of these macroinvertebrates, you know you don't have a safe, healthy body of water. That's why our friends, the macroinvertebrates, are also known as an indicator species. They help us to indicate or know if the environment is good and healthy. Okay, friends. So let's sum up what we learned today. Today, we learned how to assess the health of a creek. We saw how to collect samples of a creek for, to study. And we learned what a macroinvertebrate is. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we had some fun and you picked up a few tips to share with your friends and family. I want to thank you so much for joining us in our Collidium at Home series. Please stay safe and well until we see you again. Bye.